How many times have we started a video standing right here? And how many times have we been stood here, charged with a task that is seemingly insurmountable? It's more than once, I can tell you that much. Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And when last we left off, we got to the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Or rather, we got to where it should be. It was... There was someone there for a moment. And they vanished. Was that someone from the Sabat, or was that just a graphical glitch? We'll never know. As I was saying, someone got to the Ankaran Sarcophagus, and Jack believes that LaCroix wants to diabolize the antediluvian that he believes is within the sarcophagus, thus gaining immeasurable power. We don't know if there is an antediluvian in there, nobody knows. But that is a terrifying thought. Just imagine what LaCroix would be able to achieve with all that might. That aside, it is time for us to go and head to our apartment. I don't remember if 4 is the one that's ours. I think it is. And hopefully nothing weird's going on in our apartment. Let's pop in. Ah, hello Heather. Oh, you're back. I, um, I went out this evening and I... Well, I met someone, and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I... He came back here with me, and... Well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. Oh. That's... A little concerning. That could get me into a lot of trouble. You did what? Where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, I locked... I locked him in. Did I mess up? I... I... I don't know yet. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so... Person locked up in the bathroom. Not that bathroom. This bathroom. How am I going to deal with this? Carefully, probably. You didn't give me the key, did you? No, fortunately it's with a difficulty of one. Hello, random person! How are you doing? You are in a bad situation right now. I'm gonna have to make you forget that you ever were here. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! We have an opportunity to... get some blood, but I think the best thing we need to do right now is just get him out the... just get him out the place. And look, my sister, she's a little nuts. If... I'll let you go, if you forget about this. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Just get out of here. You don't mention what happened here to anyone. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. You would really do that to someone like me. Oh, come on now. I didn't mean it. I, I should have known there was something wrong with that broad. <laughs> Look, I'll give you money. Whatever you want. Just let me go, all right? Please. Don't kick my ass. Oh man, I think I just shit myself. Give me everything you got, and you walk out of here unscathed. Yeah, yeah, here, take it, take it all. Just please don't hit me. Get out of here. Say a word, and I'll find you. And you'll regret it. We had to use a fair amount of blood. We did get a little bit of money. However, the situation is dealt with. Heather, we need to talk. We need to talk. Uh, apparently we're not going to talk, though. Okay. I need to wait for you to get out of the room, I believe. 
This might take a while, considering the pathfinding and bloodlines. Here we go. You're going to move back over to the fish. Oh, Heather, we... We need to talk. Master? I let him go. Never, ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I There's a part of Heather that's like I need to let you go now because that was a huge mistake and you endangered both of us but there's also the part of her that sees that Heather is really sorry and that she was just trying to help and that there was a time that Helen didn't understand what was going on either and so the bad decisions get compounded by worse decisions. I can't stay mad at you. Fine. Apology accepted. I'll see you later, Heather. And so... Heather gets to stay. Also, we get caught on this. Is there anything about the Ankaran sarcophagus here? He was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are... Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln teaches killing. Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, Spain, after several pilgrims claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported weeping virgin sightings throughout its history. One pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at around sunset and that the courtyard felt full of sadness. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked and witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. The Southland Slasher struck again, this time in downtown Los Angeles. The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past and the Slasher. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Simon Milligan, host of local... Okay, we've heard everything else there. Let's go over to our computer. And see what our email is like. All right, we know our password. There's no more email for us, but we have to be careful not to touch the butter. Don't touch the butter, everyone. It's imperative you don't. All right, with that done, we could go sell stuff at trips, but in reality, there'll be somewhere to sell stuff in Hollywood. Down to the ground floor. No more quests that I always get a bit concerned about the lift. It's a nicer place. Someone did note that there are no windows in our new haven. It's more secure. On the other hand, it's still a bit run down. LaCroix still doesn't fully trust us. Understandable. I don't think LaCroix fully trusts anyone. With that done... We can now go to Hollywood. Glitz and glamour, prestige, money, fame. None of these things we're going to get. Apart from the money, we have a fair bit of money. Round the corner. Round here is the taxi. But before we go and catch a ride, I'm going to spend this experience. I think there are two things I could do here. I could either bolster my persuasion further, or I could improve my dexterity. For I know that there's armor that's better still than what we have that will reduce our dexterity. So improving my dexterity allows me to be as fast as I am now, but even more durable. So we're going to do that. This will also improve sneaking and lockpicking accept and then we'll get into here going somewhere away from here and now we have Hollywood it's not that far away from downtown 
Look at how little distance you have to move for Camarilla influence to fade. Please don't hit the taxi when we get here. I'm glad you missed! I ain't seen you here before. And if I hadn't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. And you might be? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. I'll head over there. Interesting. Well, we've stopped right by the red spot. Also, Space Burger! From the Space Age. Oh, it's food for the Space Age. Ah, misread that. Petrochem polymers. So many adverts. So many lights. Spinny signs. Alarms! Right, let's go into here. Let's see what you have for sale. Ooh. Nobody to fall asleep next to you? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323-KL5-KTRK. Let's listen. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects. As in you have an insect problem? Or chirping crickets are keeping you up? Or... You have nightmares about them. Help me out here. No, oh, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. You, you can't prevent it if you're asleep. All food should uh, have, you, like, a oh, creamy you know? center Are there any and scientists a colorful out there candy shell. Uh, and uh, the I commercial should have, uh, like, where, kung fu you know or giraffe. Do you several pounds of insects a year? The majority of that weight is composed of roaches, ants, and spiders. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes, a big fat centipede is going to drop into your mouth and crawl down your throat. <laughs> I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. So, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you I do? wonder I'm how they microwave teacher. burritos in the Middle Ages. That's about 20 I sent in for his birthday on the magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other I wonder again? how they well, microwave burritos now, in the I Middle really Ages. Good idea. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Well, you see. Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or a director? Don't you think they're doing a disservice to those who... I wonder how they microwave burritos in the Middle Ages. I don't know, sir. Um, well, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? Tell me, dude. Well, um, okay. So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay, uh, okay, so this guy, he... Do you ever think, like, all the world is one big video game and we are all characters in it? Whoa, that's, like, deep, man! They're like a sign in a safari case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. And then, like, something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but, like, the guy agent knows that the guy's got two personalities and like he finds out in the end that he's a killer and then do you ever think like all the well, world is one big video game uh, and we are all characters uh, in it would you like my 
time Whoa, for professional Whoa, that's training. like yeah. deep, Where are you man. From? I'm Wisconsin. Okay, I want you to get all your stuff together, and then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, Lantier. That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. Final thoughts, guys? Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213. Sorry, Roger. The only one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. So if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323-KL5-KTRK. It's always good to listen to this. 61, 62, 63... Fifteen more cents, and you're going in my stomach, Choco Bombs. I just need to close the trunk. One more nail, and this birdhouse will be as good as new. Yo! I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life anymore. I have performed over 300 sex changes in my career, and not one of my patients has Chocolate ever asked for their syrup for back. peanut butter. Come to Tuck's sex Chocolate exchange in the next for month, peanut and I'll butter. give you a free Dude, estimate. Dude, I have Don't to dip these potato chips in something. With your peace of mind. Tuck's sex exchange, located off Beverly Drive. Look for the sign with Toothy, the surgical saw. Tired of sluggish internet access? Mom, the internet's all slow again. I'm not your mom. I wonder how they microwave burritos in the Sick Middle Ages. Spam. Oh, oh, another email message from my old college roommate, Rod Uges. Oh, oh my. Computer problems make it frustrating to log on? Error 432, network access remote server memory allocation assessment table exceeded. Hard drive reformatting will now commence what? Looking for something that requires no logons, no unwanted email, coherent sentences, and no technical problems whatsoever? Read a book. Books. The original internet. Ha! Terrorists are prepared to destroy the largest dam in America. Again. And then she bomb goes off. I uh, wonder how, how they microwave burritos in the Middle and Ages. Only this renegade cop and his ex-wife's manicurist stand between destruction and unexpected love. I'll just file you as D.O.A. This summer, all bets are off. The heat is on. The fix is in. The dogs are out. The game hey, is she, like, up. The chips are pizza down. And the nachos stakes are together high. And the call them pisnachios. The danger Man, is I can go for some pisnachios right now. Friendships will be made. Rules will be broken. Wrongs will be righted. And no unturned stone will be left. Uh... Get ready to be turned inside out and upside down. Cliches will be cliched. Booger 2, Hydroelectric Booger. I like the title. The best damn movie you'll see this year. Oh, wonderful. We're not grinding the reverse. 61, 62, 63, 15 more cents and you're going in my stomach, Choco Bombs. Because when you're pulling a wicked skill cross 720, you don't want anything to slow you down. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dub of night. Okay. We've listened to a lot there. We've also got this guy. Patrol him. Can't talk to him, he's too busy looking at the says. Or the baked says. We also have readies, shurios, meaties, fruit butt, mmm, mmm, boo boo, blue honey. Choco Ohochilo Ohoculo. We have what else do we have? Mao Fritz All food should have Bogles Creamy Center Rice candy shell, No no funny pun on rice should have like Kung Fu Little Red giraffe. Chin Oh boy I'm looking forward to reading Chin Thane Fakers Quarterly Oh, there's also Chin Shop. Wow, there are two magazines about chins. Weather, Surf, Mayday, Stew Times. Man, I could go for some Piznachios right now. Don't go for those hot dogs, though. What else do we have here? I, I just want to see what else they have. They have Area, Bonheur, 
We have Love Pet Care. Toothpicks? The toothpicks don't have a specific thing. Hamburger? Lafaf? Chops Ahoy? I know that reference. Wallways? Poop Catchers? I hope they're good at catching poop. It's kind of their job. Charcoal? All these things that we cannot eat. We could... Is that money? Is that money right there? I, I want to save and see if I can take this money. Can I, in fact, take this money? Uh, yes, I can! You won't be getting those things, unfortunately. Oh, I got the dude, extra coin. Have, like, There's also this I could get into here, in theory. Only today! Sale on all these giraffe. rubbish things! Don't eat the hot dogs. Two microwaves, three of these. We can open the toilets. But I think it's time to uh, see what you have. Warning! The Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking can cause... Yep, that makes sense. Th the death of puppies? Alien invasion? Swamp foot? What do they put in those things? Stop. Oh. Uh, welcome to Red Spot. Home of Chocolate Monster Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need butter. help or something? Dude, I have to dip these potato chips What's in What's going on around here? Anything unusual or exciting? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. No cover for chicks. We're going to ruin the place. Interesting. She's not going to be going. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but you ever damn, think the girls like in there. All the world it's like a midget smuggling ring in there. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, I mean. We are all characters in it. Uh, Whoa, that's possibly? Like uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Ah, I see what you're doing. Hey, this thing's like $300, and you get a free AK-47. Uh, of course. W w wait, you're selling weapons out of a convenience store? Chocolate Yo, syrup for peanut Shh. butter. Alright, show me what you've got. You've got ooh I saw that right at the bottom there. Light leather. It's a set of light leather clothing. Light leather has an arm rating of two, but restricts movement slightly, hindering resulting in a minus one to dexterity. Ah, that point of dex is paying off already. Some examples of light leather clothing are leather jackets, leather skirts, and leather gloves and boots. We also have crossbow bolts. So we can now get crossbow bolts for the crossbow we have. Uh, shotgun rounds, a sledgehammer. A heavy hammer, ostensibly used for construction. Great for getting that song out of someone's head, as well as anything else inside. Right, the weapon we're currently using is... So that's damage potential 36. Okay, that does more damage. It's probably a good idea for me to grab the sledgehammer. Uh, feature adjustment 2, feature adjustment 2, base damage 2. Yeah, it does more damage. It's a little less lethal, but it does more damage. We definitely want to buy this, though. We definitely want to buy this. Right, buy this. Crossbow bolts, not sure we need any. There's also a cult anaconda here. We don't have a cult anaconda. We could buy a cult anaconda, but I, I feel like we'll need that later. For now, we're gonna buy the sledgehammer. It's a item to experiment with. Those are some really expensive burritos we just bought. We could sell you this ring. And this ring, too. This is a fancy ring. Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. And we'll sell that. We'll sell this. That you do! We also have six bottles of morphine. 
we should probably sell the bottles of morphine. We'll sell a few of them. You never know, we might need one. Also, we have a watch. We should sell that watch, too. There we go. Perfect. Anything else you could tell me about? Hola. Do you hear anything about a serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not, like, a serial killer, are you? No. Chocolate syrup what else goes on around butter. here? Anything interesting? Chocolate Always. Syrup you should come out and see my butter. band, a bowl of syrup. Dude, okay, I I'll you see you later. Something. Why don't you just dip them in your disappointment at not eating anything? Okay, nothing interesting in either of those. At all. Thank you for the stuff, by the way. We should have a look at what we look like in a moment. Oh, we're gonna look really cool in this. Alright. Also, if we go to this, it's currently being restricted. If we take it off, and wear instead this, it then goes back up to four. But, we go from three and one, two, if we go to this, four and two. This is really good. We want a lot of soak. We could get some stamina and improve our bashing soak more. Honestly, that might not be a bad thing to save up for. A little bit of stamina so that we can get five bashing soak. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But that will be for next time. I park my car again. Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude. You keep living your life, sir. You keep living your life. And I'll live my life as far away from you as possible. And when we come back, folks, the phone's ringing. We can't answer it, but the phone is ringing. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. All right, I'll go see him. Okay, let's go to the jewelers. We are clearly being not so subtly ushered towards going there. We don't want to anger the people here. And when we come back, folks, we'll go to the jewelers at the end of the road. And we'll see the Baron. Just got to make sure we know exactly where it is. Is there a map here? Not there, there isn't. Okay. Map here. There we go. We are here. Uh, the jewelers is 11. Okay, it's all the way down there. Nine is the Vesuvius. If we find the Vesuvius, we're going the wrong way. We'll go. Don't worry. We'll go. Do not want to get your eye or anyone else's eye. Not just yet. Got enough of that coming from all other angles moons there. Huh, that's neat. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications as when we come back. Introducing ourselves to the Baron. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.